my wife's painted it in uh, or it's painted it with um, the uh, preservative paint ultra based uh, the roof well it all comes off as one as you can see now it's hinged along there and if I take you around the other side it's got uh, a little bit of weight and uh, this beam now to balance it there we go one thing about the balance weight as you'll see this is at an angle because that weight there has to be up via the hinge here opposite the bulk of the weight of the roof here so uh, I tried this horizontal but it would uh, go up but fall down I then tried it at a more of an angle and it would fall back this way so it's a matter of balancing this roof through a hinge here with the weights there which are a couple of railway uh, plates and this is a bit of hardwood so uh, with it balanced it does that and uh, in future there will be a, a garage door opener or various things that would control that remotely but at the moment just flaps about in the wind balance like that which is ideal so uh, that's that bit uh, the door opens and what we got inside we've got uh, Oh, the sun. So uh, at the moment, the camera is looking up at the sun, and uh, on the tripod. And although there's an old computer here, and you can see the the sun is actually telescope live view, which is uh, CornishAstronomy.com telescope live view page and you can see it's tracking the sun but that's the old computer is just there for setting up it will control the scope but in fact the way it's being controlled is a computer elsewhere and uh, the camera HDMI output is going through a converter which is uh, down there whoops down there HDMI to SCART and the SCART lead is going up and into uh, an Axis video uh, to uh, internet connect uh, converter but uh, you can get HDMI to internet converters I believe but uh, that's what I had now the scope is being controlled over the USB and that's on there four port USB gigabyte network server uh, and uh, that's been controlled for as I said from a computer elsewhere and uh, I can monitor the output via the web page or uh, anything else uh, this is an old Sony camera which uh, only works uh, with um, peculiar lenses and uh, it's uh, sort of works it's slightly broken <laughs> and so that's it you can see the uh, solar filter and uh, rest of it there it's a bit near it may be that uh, the <coughs> this could be slightly bigger but um, that's the way it is at the moment uh, perhaps 
a seven foot triangle as opposed to a six foot triangle might be slightly better. If I was doing it again, I'd build a, a triangle of wood there to mount this lot on. Uh, as it is, I've just done that. And uh, you can see I haven't taken the tops of the screws off yet. This is a very rough prototype. Um, and uh, that's it, it's uh, working. So, uh, and uh, I didn't need to make these lighter really. I think I could have just used heavier weights, made the whole sides from bits of uh, ply, perhaps half inch. This is 18 mil, but half inch might have been best. And you could have made the uh, roof not curved, you could have made the roof um, flat. So it could be uh, sort of a, some sort of triangular structure, like a piece of cheese. Um, but uh, when you fold it down, if it's, you've got to be careful at the back of it because uh, you won't be able to get the door open if you do need to when the roof's open. Uh, if you make the roof um, too much of a slope at this point, it needs to it needs to slope there and then down there somehow. Anyway, that's it so far. Uh, next thing is a motor control to uh, open and close the roof remotely.